Well, around town this morning, time to get out your bow and arrow. Mm -hmm. Cameron Fontana is live at Velocity Archery Range this morning. Cam? Hey, good morning, guys. Well, you know, the weather is cold outside, and you might get a little stir crazy, a little bit of cabin fever. So this is a great idea. If you want to bring your family out, this is Velocity Archery Range. They offer everything from lessons to special kids parties. And this morning on Good Day Columbus, we're going to try our hand at bows and arrows today. So we're going to toss it back to you guys. Let me see if I can get this. Nice. Start with the target. Here oh, we go. here we go. Oh, it, uh, oh my gosh. Wow. No. Seriously, bullseye? Nice. Like Way to go, close, Cam. Wow. He and I need to hang out. That is impressive. That's luck. Straight that luck like right brave. there. That Katniss like Fontana. Well, I was thinking Brave from the oh, Disney yeah. movie. I see it. <laughs> and you know mm. what? She was looking to hit a bullseye, and so was someone else. Cameron Fontana <laughs> came awfully darn close there. Cam, that was a fantastic shot at Velocity Archery this morning. So are you showing them how to do it then? Yeah, is that the deal? <laughs> I know, Amy was like, you're still excited about it. And I saw your video, Pete. Pete got a bullseye, of course. He's like, I'm going to let you finish, but let me show you how it's really done. But this is a place you can really learn. With me is Amy. How are you doing, Amy? Doing good. So Velocity Archery Range, how long has this been here in Columbus? Gosh, since October 2012. It's wow. kind of a hidden gem. Right. Not many people know we're here unless you're already in the world of archery. And I think you're seeing a lot of... Uh, fandom with people with Arrow on the CW oh, yeah. and Hunger Games and all that. Are you seeing a lot of kids come out too with adults? Definitely have lots of little redheads here. Lots of little, lots of little redheads. So let's walk through what we have. Kind of give a little bit of a tour. What's over to the left? Here's where I'm going to start our kids out, or any beginner for that matter. It's a, kind of a lesson room. It also doubles as just a private little beginner room. Nice. I have a little Kevlar netting that we can drop down. And I shoot zombie footage on there. Oh, for there you go, a little bit of Walking Dead. Oh, yeah. And then over here, I see another green room, and there's some fake animals. They're not real animals, Oh, right? no, 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 they're not real. <laughs> <laughs> so if I have a kid that's interested in hunting, or if you just want something different other than bales or targets, this is where I put some 3Ds in here for them to get interested. Very nice. And then so these are the two private rooms, and we're going to walk all the way to where we started the hit, where we got the bullseye. How many people can you fit in here, Amy, uh, to be able to do some archery? Actually, I have 20 different shooting lanes. Oh my gosh. They spread throughout three different sections of my range, a 20 yard section, a 30 yard section, here to your right, uh -huh. and then you could go upstairs and use a shooting platform to do an elevated shot. Very nice. Now you said this was 20 yards right here. Mm -hmm. So Pete, I'm gonna try to, uh, we're gonna throw it back to you, I'm gonna try to get this again. Off TV, I'm horrible, but it's the live TV luck. Here we go. Let's see. Nope, way off. That's nope. all right. You said I have total high, faith Pete. in you. I'm just saying, the first Cam. One was when the amazing. when the zombies come, Cam, I want you on my team. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yes. All right. High five. Thanks, Aww. Cam. High five for sure. I literally had a viewer send me a note saying, "You guys should try to find something that Cam can't do because he can do everything." Well, like, um, he's so if you've talented. seen the videos of him and his wife Katie dancing, I think it's probably on <laughs> that remember, list. Remember, he did hip hop and he actually ended up being really good. All right. Yeah. It's quarter after eight now, and around town this morning, Cameron Fontana learning the art of archery. He is. He is live in South Columbus at Velocity Archery Range. And you know, Cam, your first shot was like almost perfect. And now maybe I'm thinking you're just thinking it through know, too I'm, much. You're in your head. I'm going downhill, isn't that right, Amy? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. So this is one of the rooms that you actually train for the very first time when you come to Velocity. So give me an example of how you would teach someone like me in my form. Really what I start with is watch the hands. That's so important. You want to do the exact same thing with your hands every single time. Okay. That's how you get your consistency. Consistency is going to lead to accuracy. Consistency leads to accuracy. That's like a motivational <laughs> quote of the day. I love that. So you really want to do a couple things. Okay. You always want to do three fingers underneath your arrow. Got it. So I'm going to put my arrow in. Mm -hmm. And you kind of want to go a little opposite of what you think you want to do. A lot of people want to get really, really tight with their grip. Yeah, because when I go here, I want to go all the way back because yeah. I feel like that's strong. But you don't want to lock that elbow. That's, that's my left elbow. Mm -hmm. So I want to loosen that. You're putting your arm in the way of the strain, which means uh, you're going to hurt yourself. Okay. So what about my right hand? Edwin, if you want to come over here, because there's a certain spot you want to put this arm, you right? You kind of want to give yourself like an anchor point or just basically a reference point. Okay. So you want to touch your pointer finger to the corner of your smile. That's my index finger, like mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. That one, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So there right there. There you go. Is and this then, my thumb okay? Your thumb's okay. You can lay it flat or you can tuck it under your jaw, whatever's okay. most comfortable. And then to release your arrow, you're just going to take this arm and complete the straight line 
So act like you're elbowing the person behind you. So I'm going to elbow Edwin. That'll be easy. So <laughs> bottom right target right over here. I'm going to shoot for number three in the center. Let's see how I do. Elbow Edwin. Okay, I was right a little bit, but that was a more comfortable shot. So let me yeah. try that again. What could I do to improve that? Think bowling. You know how you have to watch the wrist? Yeah. Definitely watch your wrist because you can control your shot by where this goes. So if I flick outward. Don't want to flick. Yeah. Okay. So you can control your arrow flight by doing that. So let me try this again. I'm going to think about elbowing Edwin. Number three target in three, two, one. There we go. Very awesome. good. So we're going to have some more lessons. Buck, we're going to toss it to you. And speaking of bucks, aren't we shooting little fake bucks next? Maybe. Yeah, they're fake bucks. We're not shooting you, Buck. But we're going to toss it back to you. But that's that what is, we're doing next. That is good to know. You may not know this, Cameron, but I summer camp, I went for archery before. Buck's an archery expert. Oh, boy. How awesome is that? <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say an expert, but I went to summer camp for archery one year. Time to see just uh, how good Cameron's aim is right now, if, it's, if he's getting it back. It's true, because he had it, and then he kind of lost it. Well, he's testing his skills at archery this morning. Cameron is live at Velocity Archery Range in South Columbus. Ooh. All right, Cam, now what you up to? So, Karen, we are in the wild of inanimate animals, right, Amy? Right. So we've entered a new room right here. What is this room that people can enjoy? This is just another beginner room. Okay. Um, it predominantly stays 3D. Um, well, now, what way, does 3D mean? It's just the foam animal targets. Okay. This will prepare a child, or a beginner for that matter, who wants to get into the hunting scene. Got it. Now, I do want to apologize to our faithful viewer, Pat, because we do have some bears, but we set up a scenario. Yes. Okay? We got friendly does. Just chilling. But then there's a bad, evil bear and a bad, evil boar set up. Yeah, so we have to save them. So we have to save the does. We got to save those. So I'm going to get down like I'm a kid. So I'm going to aim for the bear right now. Um, what are some of the things, like, if you're at this level that I need to work on? Pretend I'm a kid. You definitely want to watch your elevation. Okay. Okay, because you're at a lower level, so you got to watch the left shoulder a little okay. bit. So right about here. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go for his shoulder just to get him off the doe. Oh, there we go. That's okay. Not bad. Now, over here, the boar, um, some of these have, like, targets on them, like circles that people can aim at, correct? Yeah, they're called scoring rings. What and does that mean, a scoring ring? It's basically what you would also do with the paper scores. Got okay? it. Okay, so you get points for where you can hit for the most vital shot. Got it. So if you can see right there, the boar has a circle ring on it. Um, it's about to attack the doe that's just minding its own business. Boars are very nasty animals, right? Very, very. I just want to say that before I put an arrow... Right there. Oh, we're in the Great center right there. Great shot. So what hours are you open, Amy? When can people come out? We're predominantly in the evening, okay. so we're 2 to 8 throughout the week and 10 to 5 on Saturdays. We're closed Sundays and holidays. Is there any age limit? No. I've taught as young as 3. Really? Yeah. Little little 3 Katniss Everdeens, 3-year-old yeah. Katniss Everdeens. As That's long awesome. as they understand safety, I'm good to go. All right. So mm -hmm. we're going to teach you safety in the next one. We're going to head to the big room and I think do some... What's that called? Elevation. Elevation shots. We're going to throw it back to you guys. I'm going to keep saving the does. That's what I'm doing here. That is, that is nice. so, yes, you are the does knight in shining armor there, Cam. And his, his man, aim Cam. is back. It is. <laughs> hey, welcome back 923 around town this morning. We are learning more about a sport called archery. We didn't realize our own Cameron Fontana is an expert. He's at Velocity Archery Range in South Columbus. How's it going, Cam? That's right, Courtney. It's actually Katniss Fontana reporting live from Velocity Archery Range because, Amy, you're turning me into a pro this morning. We're trying. We're trying. I'm, I'm way overshooting that term pro. So <laughs> we're now on the second level here at Velocity, which gives you an opportunity to do what you call elevated shooting. Yeah, so if you're interested in hunting okay. or if you just kind of want to mix things up, you really want to come on to a shooting platform like this, and this kind of helps you get used to being at a higher elevation. And it mimics, like, what's it called when you're in the tree and you're hunting? Tree stand hunting. Tree stand hunting. So if I'm aiming right now, what are some of the things, because obviously gravity, you said, is going to pull the arrow down. A little bit. So I always tell the kids, aim just a smidge high for elevation. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me pull back. Let's see how my form's been. Is this good right here, Amy? Very good. Okay, so I'm going to aim a little bit higher. I'm going for that center target. Okay, a little bit low. Mm -hmm. So how would I split the difference? Does that mean I need to aim a little bit higher? Yeah, and you, what you want to do is when you aim, you uh -huh. don't want to kind of bend at the hip. Okay. You want to watch the shoulder. It's not all in yeah. the hips. It's, it's all not. in the shoulders. Okay. Stay so nice we're going to go in the straight. shoulders. Is this good right here? Mm-hmm. A little bit higher. Oh! 
we got in the black ring. Yeah. I think. Yeah, you're just a smidge to the left. All right. If people want to find more information about you, Amy, are you, I guess, have a website? Are you on yeah. Facebook? We've got VelocityArcheryRange.com, okay. of course. And then you can always go onto our Facebook. That's where we post all of our scoring. So, because we do different tournaments nice. here. So you do a Friday night tournament for 3D. We also do a Tuesday night tournament for spots. Awesome. So. Well, that's what we're actually going to talk about in the next hit. We're going to talk about their tournaments and toss it back to you. Let's see if I can get a bullseye. Here we go. This is for you, Sean and Courtney. Oh, I failed you. Aww. Aww. You're pretty far away, though. We'll give you another try. Maybe next time. Maybe. Woo! Hey, welcome back to Good Day Columbus, guys. We're hanging out and finishing up our time here at Velocity Archery Range. We're back with Amy. How are you doing, Amy? Doing good. So we have something set up here because mm -hmm. this is like a tournament that's coming up. Yeah, we do 3D tournaments every Friday night. So you can come start practicing around 6.30 and then we actually start shooting at 7.30. Wow, now I've been using one of your bows um, that you can come if you want to learn on, but you have one of the ones that are usually seen at these tournaments. Talk about this and shoot it. Um, well, there's a couple different bows that you can always shoot. You can do a hunter setup or you can do a target setup. Mine's kind of a blend of both. So this You have like all the bells and whistles on it. This is so cool. I do have some gizmos. This helps me with counterbalances and um, where to aim at and stuff like that. Okay, so let me see how it's shot because normally what you've taught me was the three finger under, mm -hmm. but you have a uh, trigger. I do. When you go up and pound it, you really kind of want to relax on your fingers okay. a little bit. So, because I shoot anywhere from 45 to 60 pounds, depending on the situation, I use a trigger to take that pressure off. So I just hook this on right okay. here. And I just pull back. You pull back. It just clicks into place. All right. I use the level to help me stay straight. Look at that. You got it right in the little dot. Oh my gosh. Yep. So real quick, what hours are you open? When can people come out and where are you located? Definitely come and see us Monday through Friday, two to eight. Okay. And Saturdays are 10 to five. Very nice. Well, Amy, thank you so much for letting us come out here. Well, More's coming day. up on Good Day Columbus after the break. Can I do one more? Go right ahead. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh, I missed it. A little 